So the memorial mass, the first anniversary memorial mass uh, commemorating the uh, passing of uh, the former president, flying leftern and Jerry John Rollins, just got underway. Now it started a little after 9 a.m. and it's expected to go on for about an hour and a half. Now indeed we have seen some key personalities. The entire auditorium is filled, almost filled to the brim with persons clad in white as uh, was requested by the family for this particular service. A key amongst the personalities we've seen and there are many of them here uh, is the Vice President of the Land, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia. Uh, Chief of Staff, uh, Madame Frema Opari. And now on the other side of the political divide, we have uh, former President John Dramani Mahama with his uh, uh, vice uh, uh, for the 2020 elections, Professor Jinano Pukwajiman, and uh, the national chairman of uh, the NDC, uh, Samo Fusu Ampofo, as well as some other individuals. And uh, now so many persons are here. The family themselves, the wife of the late uh, president, President, his four uh, 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 children, uh, by the wife I mean uh, uh, Madame Nanakunidu Ajiman Rawlings, uh, the, the children Zaneto, Kimathi, Amina, Ya, Asantua are all here uh, as uh, the service uh, gets underway. Now we do expect a number of things to happen right here at the Holy Spirit Cathedral Church in Adabraka, Accra. Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings was a, a man who one cannot forget so easily. His loving and charismatic demeanor struck everyone he met. And for mom and for us, every day brings new memories of who he was. Larger than life, but still a simple personality with so much warmth and compassion. As a young father, your love and care knew no bounds. To quote from mom's tribute to you, and I quote, you took pride in your fatherly duties. There was no task too tiresome or bothersome for you as you sought to take care of your young family. You struck a chord with the ordinary people of this country and could not fathom why a small group of privileged class had taken over Ghana and consistently mismanaged it. You and like-minded colleagues believed some action had to be taken. The rest is history. Probity and accountability were not just popular words associated with Jerry John Rawlings. You did everything you could when you were leader of this country to live with the ideal and to convince all Ghanaians to follow suit. The journey of combating corruption has been a complex journey for Ghana, but while you lived, you never stopped championing that cause. The loss of our dearest father, husband and leader has been tough on us all as a family and one year on the pain remains immeasurable the reality still in question ladies and gentlemen it is however the love and boundless support as shown here today that has helped in many ways to ease the pain of our loss while we express our sincere gratitude to everyone here today, we would like to give a special thanks to His Excellency, the Vice President, the Chief of Staff, members of the Council of State, the Honorable Ministers, the Service Chiefs, traditional leaders, diplomatic corps, religious leaders, and all those who have helped today for your presence. We cannot thank you enough. Your Excellency, we kindly request that you extend our most sincere gratitude to His Excellency the President for his continued concern and support during a most turbulent time for the family. A kindness we shall never forget. So the commemorative uh, anniversary mass for the former president, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins, is over. We'll do well to try and get some reactions from some of the key personalities here, possibly from former President John Dramani Mahama. It will live forever. And so today we mourn him. It's exactly one year after he passed. And yet he remains a colossus in the history of this country. There's still a feeling of uh, 
as if it's not real, you know, that he's passed and it's already one year. So you have that feeling. And then when on these occasions, then it hits you very hard that he's really gone. And um, the best that we can do is to follow his principles as a party, the principles of probity, integrity and accountability, particularly in these difficult times that we are. I mean, you can imagine that if Jerry Rollins were alive, with the incident that had happened in Keta, he would have been there by now. He himself would have led the people there, sent a delegation. He would be there with the people, helping with the relief. You know, that is the kind of leadership that is lacking today. And I think that it's important that the principles with which he led this nation have to be revived and rekindled in our body politic. Let's now take you to the Volta region where the former president, Jerry John Rawlings, hailed from to find out how residents are commemorating the first anniversary of his passing. On the serious side of Rawlings was a heart for the nation. And that's what I remember him for. I believe he had a heart for Ghana. His deep sense of wanting to see suffering, you know, reduced. Even towards the end, his passion for the environment was something that people tried to sneer at as if he had nothing to do. But if you wheel back and you look at even a critical aspect, today we're talking about what? Climate change, climate change, climate change, managing the... Uh, he will live in my heart forever. Uh, each of us will find a way to grieve and mourn him. Each of us will find a way to remember him and to keep his memory alive. Each of us must ask ourselves, which part of his life do we want to carry on? How do we want to use that to uh, impact the next generation and make our country better than we found it? And we also want to use this opportunity to tell the whole world that we Angolans, we are still planning the funeral of our Nutifafa Fia. Prime Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings, and this will come on probably next year or so. The National Democratic Congress also held its very own first anniversary commemoration ceremony at its headquarters on Friday for the late former president. At that ceremony, the eldest daughter of the late former president, Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings, Dr. Zaneto Ajman Rawlings, urged the leadership of the NDC to accept her mother, Nana Kunidu Ajman Rawlings, back into the party for the sake of unity. I would like to use the opportunity to ask that as we remember the old man, thinking that he would not pass when he did, let us recognize the fact that we don't know when our last day will be. Let's make amends. Those we have wronged, let us approach them. And on this particular occasion, I will say the thing that nobody wants to say. Nana Kunido Ajman Rawlings was an integral part of this party. Let us do what we have to do to bring her back. In every family, there are elders who will be part of the mediation of the conflict. We're calling on our elders. This is the time. We don't know what tomorrow holds, but if we want true victory, a convincing win, so that we can rescue the people of Ghana from where we are today, let us do what we have to do. I will also ask our cadres as Honorable Nyama Donko mentioned, we're asked not to be a part of the mainstream moving forward. And permit me to say, perhaps that was a mistake. But it is not too late. Many of our cadres are still alive. And in every society, the younger generation learns from the old. Let us call them back and let us go to them. And let us learn our history. It's something to be proud of.